First, let me show you the problem. Let's do all the typical things for this workflow. Set the input to RE Alexa log C as our source footages, and the output to Rec 709 primaries and Cineon encoding curve. Next, add the default 2383 lookup table. We have correctly applied 2383 film LUT to our log footage. Let's apply this nodes tree to the next shot with strong blue LED lighting. Okay, here's the problem. This doesn't come from the LUT, but from Color Space Transform plugin. And this is not a bug, it is expected and correct behavior of the plugin. Now let's turn on the tone mapping. It helps a little. What we need is gamut mapping. Unfortunately, in some cases it's almost useless in DaVinci Resolve. We can still see this unnatural dark blue color in the image. Now let's try to lower the gamut compression threshold. Looks like we dealt with the problem. But if we apply this to our first clip, we can notice washed out colors of the color checker patches. Before we find a solution, let's examine the problem. We should find a way to soften these sharp transitions. And this is what Resolve tools do. The overall idea of the so-called path to white in the gamut mapping algorithm is good, but this implementation could be better. But I like the tone mapping algorithm, so I turn it on. And it also helps with values that are clipped by converting log C to Cineon. Now let's save this grade as our reference still image. Here's the solution. Let's change the output gamma from Cineon to Rec 709. Then add another color space transform plugin and set its input to Rec 709 primaries and gamma, and its output to Rec 709 primaries and Cineon encoding curve. We have now dealt with out of gamut colors by compressing and limiting them, using tone mapping S curve. After that, in the second node we brought our image, back to Cineon encoding. Let's compare it to our reference. A minor difference, but pretty close. Now it's time to promote my LUTs. Please check out the description.